Greetings folks, let's take a look at how to use some of the edit tools in Adobe Audition's multi-track window. So first of all, I've recorded a voiceover and I've taken also from the last tutorial on the channel, the music we made in GarageBand. Okay, so there's a tutorial on how to make this music, which is very easy. But here we go, tired, restless, so it's all unmixed. So I could mix this, but there's a quick way. I'm going to click on the uh, voice track and over on the essential sound panel. If you don't have that, you can go to window, essential sound. I'm going to set my voice track as dialogue. Okay. I'm going to click on the music track and I'm going to set my music track to be music. And then I'm going to tick this box here, ducking. Okay. See the options there. Okay. Now what that will do is it will reduce the volume of the music against the voice. Okay, so tired, restless, irritable. Yeah, and I can change, for example, you know, how much it reduces it by. So I could even make it a little quieter. Perhaps you're not getting enough sleep. Why not treat yourself to one of our deluxe? Okay, so there we go. So and the great thing about this is if I move the voiceover around, the fades on the music move with it. So let's take a look at the edit tools here. So we've got four of them. And the first one is the move tool, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It moves things about. So if I grab my voiceover track, just click on it. There you go. Just And I can just pull it. So we'll start with a little bit of music. Okay. And it will fade down. Tired, restless, irritable. Okay, so the music, and I could also use the the move tool to trim the ends. Okay, so I can trim it just to where I start and where I finish. In case we've got any extra bits of audio that we don't want at the end. But what if I want to make some sort of cuts in the middle? Okay, that's where I can use the next tool, which is the razor tool. Okay, but just before I do that, I'll just show you a couple of extra things we can do with the move tool. One is apply a fade at the start or the end of the track. There's this little gray, okay, two tone gray box here on the corners. You click on a track, okay, that will let me fade it. And if I move my mouse up or down, you can change the shape of the fade. Okay, we don't need to do that. If I want to fade in the middle, I can click on this yellow line, the volume level that runs between the clips and I can use the move tool to add a couple of points okay and fade you see now my voice will get quieter to one of our deluxe beds at Derek's bed and then it will get louder Derek's, the bed people okay so I'll undo that with command or control on a PCZ okay but for our purposes today all I really need to do is just use the move tool to move the dialogue along okay so next up, I might want to add a little pause to this. So I think I'd add tired, restless, irritable. I'd like a little pause between restless and irritable. So to do that, I can use the razor tool. Okay. And the shortcut is R, R for razor. I'll just click here and I can click. And when I do that and move to the top of the clip, the razor tool becomes the move tool again. And I could just move the clip along and add a little pause. Restless, irritable. Yeah, and I can just tweak that to get perhaps you're restless, irritable, perhaps you Okay, add a little pause here. Slow the whole thing down. Irritable, perhaps. And you can hear there that um, this is also quite useful. When I've split that, I take a little breath. Irritable, you can hear that. So I could use my trim tool there to trim that in. Irritable? Perhaps you're not getting enough sleep. Why not treat yourself to one of our deluxe beds at Derek's Beds? Derek's. So I'm going to cut here. Again, leave a little pause. Okay. Beds. Derek's. The bed people. Now here, I'm going to cut for the tagline, but I've recorded the tagline, as you can see, a few times. I'll play through it. Derek's, the bed people. Derek's, the bed people. 
Derricks, the bed people. Derricks, the bed people. Okay, so I've got four alternatives there. And so rather than keep going through the alternatives, I've, I've got this in the right place. Okay, uh, the first one. I'm going to just click on the second one and hit backspace and delete that. But what I can do now is I can use this tool here. This is the slip tool, okay? And that will move the source file on the timeline, yet keep it in the same place, okay? So you can see it's very useful if I've got multiple takes of a same line. So, so if I go back to here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set like an in and an out point with I and O, okay? And at the bottom, I've got loop on, that little button here. You see that? Loop. So when I play this, Derek's the bed people. Derek's the bed people. Now what I can do is leave that playing. Derek's the bed people. Let's try number two. Derek's the bed people. Okay. Derek's. Let's try this the one. The bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's the be bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's so there you go. I can the bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's the bed people. Derek's. Okay, so I'm going to go with that one because it's the silliest and cheesiest. And there you go. And if I want to clear this in and out, I can simply press the letter G. It's gone. Okay. Derek's the bed people. So you can see the slip tool just lets me go between, you know, different takes or or just move the audio however I want need to move it on the timeline without shifting its position on the timeline, just shifting the source material that's being used. Okay. The final tool is a time selection tool. So if I want to just take a chunk, okay, and delete that, I can select a, a chunk and hit backspace and cut. And cut. Okay, and I can also use the time selection tool the same as the in and out point. And then Derek's create the bed people a loop. Derek's. So being able to loop your playback is useful when you're editing. So with those just those four tools, okay, that's the only four we've got up here. That's all you're really ever gonna need to edit kind of voiceover, podcasts, uh, you know, commercials, whatever you do. Okay, so there you go. Have fun, and remember, Derek's the bed people.